Hey everyone, welcome to Car Review. We're gonna do a spoiler-filled review of Avengers Endgame. There's so much in this movie I want to talk about. Hopefully, I can get to all the you know the big things, and you know, of course, the great little things like Easter eggs and stuff like that too. But I'm going to talk about this movie as if you have seen it already, and uh, it's there's a lot to unpack here. But I can't wait to talk about it. And I got my Avengers T-shirt. I got this this tonight actually. My mom gave me this. Like shout out to my mom. Um, hooking me up with some really cool Avengers swag. Um, I just, I can't wait to talk about this movie. It, there's there's so much and it's, yeah, we're gonna dive right in. So this is your spoiler warning. Um, if you if you wanna go, if you wanna go watch my spoiler free review to get a sense of what's coming your way, go ahead and watch that. But this is a spoiler filled um, uh, review. You have been warned. Also, sorry if I sound a little funny. I, I've been under the weather and I'm getting over it. So there's your warning for that as well. But yeah, we're gonna get into it right now. So you have been warned. Okay, so Avengers Endgame. Obviously, huge element of this is time travel. We kind of all saw that coming. We didn't know how they do it. We didn't know if it'd be done well, but hey, they did it in a really cool way. And I thought they did it in a really fun and pretty great way too. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't too convoluted, um, you know? And uh, I just, I loved how they, it was a big, love letter to Marvel fans everywhere, you know, revisiting 2012's Avengers, you know, Thor 2, First Guardians, you know, I think that was it for all the films we really revisited other than time periods, like we went back to the 70s with Captain America, you know, his boot camp and stuff, um, that was super cool, but just seeing all these awesome time periods and different, different keystones in the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that was really awesome and they did it in a really cool way that was just fun and innovative I mean how cool was that Captain America on Captain America fight scene in Avengers Tower I mean that was that was awesome you know so that was super cool um, I also I really enjoyed how they went back and, and gave some love to Thor the Dark World as I know many people don't like that movie as much as others I actually like it quite a bit um, I just it's not one I revisit a whole lot but in the times I have seen it, I really enjoy it so good on them for for hitting that one back up um, kind of jumping into that though okay so you know the Hulk Bruce Banner he breaks down time travel in the quantum realm whereas you know the present from which you jump into becomes your past and then the future becomes the present you are now currently living in I think that's how he explained it um, you know and when Thor and Rocket go back to Thor 2 to get the Infinity Stone the red one um Thor calls on Mjolnir, the, the hammer, before he gets Stormbreaker, the axe. He calls on his former hammer and he takes it with him back to the present. So, does that mean that the Thor in Thor the Dark World no longer would have his hammer? So, you know, and and then I thought, well, then does that movie just get kind of like, just kind of washed away? Like, like does that movie progress the, at the same way it does regardless? Like, would he just fight like hand to hand? Would he just, you know, throw lightning bolts? And then I thought, well, the way the Hulk explained it, does that mean that Thor just, he just, like, the events of Thor 2 just don't happen and, and then it doesn't matter if the hammer's there or not as long as the hammer's in the possession of Thor? Like, like so does now Thor 2 become a, a like, a conjoined part of the present in a way to where, like, it's just this big through line and there's not, like, going back, going forward, it's just, it's just a straight line? Like, and then when they return the Infinity Stones, when Captain America goes back in time to return them, does everything get back the way it was? So, well, I guess that would actually make sense because when Captain America went back in time, he took the hammer with him. So he would he would have got the hammer back to Thor and Thor 2. But then would Thor 2 have slowed? I don't know. Like it's, it's, that was just something where I was, the whole time I was watching the movie, I was, I was thinking like, well, doesn't that Thor need his hammer? But whatever, you know, it, 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 it was, it worked out great because, I mean, we got to see Captain America pull the, pull the hammer and just bitch slap that all awesome. I don't mean to swear in these videos because, you know, I did oh, it's just, it was amazing when Thor is, is down to the ground, he's fighting Thanos hand to hand and he calls on the axe and Thanos grabs the axe and is plunging it into his chest and he looks like he's about to just get pierced and die and then, you know, Captain America calls on the hammer but we don't know it's Captain America until it cuts back to him and everyone, when I was in my theater, literally elbow to elbow people were cheering and clapping as loudly as I could it was like oh my gosh it was like watching like a live event and I was one of them too I was like 
yeah, let's go, like, woo! Like, we were just, we were cheering, and, oh, Thanos just got lit up, like, literally with lightning, oh, and everything, and it was so cool, you know, to see, you know, like, Hawkeye finally get some good, some good love, Ant-Man get some good love, War Machine had some love, too, Nebula, like, all these characters, you know, you appreciate that they're on the team, but they don't really you know they, they don't really stand out to you compared to like a Captain America or an Iron Man. It was great to see them get some major love, some major screen time, and some really cool moments. So I really enjoyed that. Thor being fat Thor the whole time, really unexpected. I thought for sure during time travel they would slim him down, uh, but no, he went toe to toe with Thanos and the whole armies with the extra poundage and looked all right. It was kind of goofy though. Um, seeing Hulk as full Hulk the entire time was pretty goofy as well. I mean, like, <coughs> excuse me, I get it that, like, you know, over the course of the years, Banner and Hulk kind of merged into one being, and it, it was cool. I thought it kind of got old pretty quick, though. That's kind of one of my knocks in the movie. I guess while we're on the topic of knocks is I didn't like how they killed Black Widow off. I mean, twice now at this at the soul stone pit you've sacrificed women not trying to you know make this like political or or feminist like oh man like what about the women i'm just saying it's it's kind of a weird coincidence that women have died in the exact same manner in the exact same way you know i thought for sure and i'm glad that they didn't do this because it would have made for a, a stupid joke like luke throwing the lightsaber over his shoulder in the last jedi you know at the moment should have been serious and it was in, in endgame um but uh I thought for sure Hawkeye and Black Widow were going to team up on Red Skull and toss him over, you know, because he's like the watcher of that land. I thought that would have been funny, but I thought it would have made sense because I didn't think any of them were going to die. And then I thought it was a little drawn out, too. We're like, oh, first Hawkeye's going to, then Black Widow. Oh, but it's actually Hawkeye. Then it's actually Black Widow. And then it ended up being Black Widow. So I was like, all right, you know, let's, let's go. Um, but, like, <laughs> you know minor minor discrepancies aside I mean like this movie is such an event that it is such a love letter to fans whether you've been with them since 2008 or you're someone like me who got on them in the first Avengers in 2012 or if you if your first introduction was <coughs> excuse me Civil War or Infinity War or, you know whatever like if you were a fan of these movies if you're a fan of the universe if you're a fan of the brand of superheroes this is a movie for you and like oh my gosh the the choreography, you know, the fight scenes, you know, when Captain America is facing against Thanos and his shield starts cracking with every swing, you know, I was gasping in the theater and everything, and then when Iron Man gets the Infinity Gauntlet, you know, I was just like, oh, man. <sighs> okay, so when, when they're all back on Wakanda, when they're all back on Earth and everybody from, you know, the snap comes back, you got your Black Panther, your Wakanda army, you got Iron Man, uh, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, you know, when they're all fighting Thanos, Captain Marvel shows up and he gets the glove, he gets the gauntlet, and he's about to snap, and his fingers literally touch. They literally touch in the snapping formation, and Captain Marvel just comes in and just puts him in like a freaking headlock. Like, oh my gosh, my heart stopped beating for like three whole beats. Like I was so just on the edge of my seat and everything. And, that's that's awesome when the when the action finally does come and, and, and it just it's just this wave of pure just acceleration. I mean it really it doesn't stop. I mean it kinda took a minute to get going. Granted it's three hours long, you know, but still and like the beginning I was a little confused because they really got to it quick. We're like, okay, after Infinity War, three weeks have passed, they go to Thanos' new planet and they literally kill him. And I was like, okay kind of weird we all kind of thought that that uh, there'd be a time jump and then sure enough it says five years later and they still haven't fixed the issues you know so it's like good for them for, for you know taking the swing on letting some time pass um so that was really cool i also thought it was really cool to to go back in to see you know agent carter to go back in the time to meet you know howard stark you know tony got to have that moment with his with his dad um, there are a lot of great moments like that where you see, you know, family dynamics and, and relationship dynamics, you know. Um, I love seeing the pairing of Iron Man and Nebula together and Nebula and War Machine together. She was a really cool character in this movie. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, she and the Guardians again is awesome. You know, it was just, gosh, there's, there's so much I want to talk about, but, like, I don't want this video to be incredibly long. Um, 
How about that shot though of Captain America where after his shield gets cracked in half and it's like broken, broken fucking like pieces and he's standing there on the mountain with just Thanos' entire army and the camera pans back and it looks like it's like a renaissance painting with the light shining through and things falling from the sky and it's just Thanos here and Captain America here and he's just mortally wounded and oh, it's just looked like a freaking painting and it was just, it was so great. You know, seeing Pepper Potts' rescue, that was awesome, you know? Just, it really felt like a great, you know, a culmination of this entire universe. You know, if you've enjoyed characters from this movie, that movie, they're all there. They all get their time to shine, and it's just, it's, it's, it's so much fun and enjoyable, and it's so entertaining. I mean, just on a, on a pure filmmaking level. I mean, just the amount of care and respect and diligence that went into this production. I mean, it's astounding. I mean, people are going to look back on the Marvel movies in particular. I'm not trying to slam DC or anything like that. I'm just saying they're going to look back on on the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe from 2008 to 2019, these 22 or 23 films, and they're going to be like, this is like a, a technological, financial entertainment achievement like we will never have this again i mean this the marvel universe has been compared to today's star wars and and i used to think that was crazy because star wars is star wars but like marvel's marvel i mean to think that they have this entire connective universe lasting over a decade and then have it come together which really did feel like a closure in endgame even though we know they're going to keep making more movies because it's, it's the brand i mean it's it's, a, it's an enterprise at this point money hand over fist, you know, but still, to have Endgame feel like that much of a close for so many characters, I mean, Iron Man freaking died, you know, who would have thought, I mean, we all kind of, we all kind of, you know, placed your bets on who you think is going to go over, like, Iron Man, Captain America, Wild Carpy, and Thor, you know, like, I personally thought Ant-Man was going to go, because I thought that would have been a nice little talk on the heart string to lose the, the funny man, the family man, you know, and then again, you got Hawkeye, and everyone is a family now, so, you know, they would have kind of wasted that card out there but i mean we lost iron man he's done and cap i mean <laughs> talk about a <coughs> excuse me talk about a gut-wrenching moment i mean seeing him old and passing down the shield to to i don't know uh to falcon and I'm like i didn't think that was gonna happen either like i thought for sure they would have given the captain america character a break like let him kind of simmer down let chris evans kind of walk off into the sunset type thing give it like at least a half decade i'm being serious before we were like oh here's your new captain because i didn't think falcon fit you know i know he works in the comics as captain america but i also didn't think uh, the actor his name eludes me like like i don't know if he's like up to the caliber to carry on the Captain America name. And, like, I love the guy. I mean, I've seen him in other things, and he's awesome. But, like, where where he is in the Marvel Universe, he's not, you know, he's not an A-list character. He's, like, a B-minus, B-plus. So maybe this is his chance to get that A-list status. I'm just saying it's a little odd. I, I mean, it's awesome, but it's odd. I thought it should have gone to Bucky, though. I mean, God... Bucky's his best friend, man. And when Steve came back and he's like 87 years old or whatever, like, you should have looked at his best friend and been like, you've been with me until the end of the line, you know? Like, should have given him one of those sayings or whatever, you know, the guy, you know, he fought Iron Man over him. You should have given the shield to him, the, the mantle to him. You know, Falcon is cool too. Um, but yeah, there were there were so many just, just amazing moments. I mean, the Captain America and Thor's hammer, <laughs> Iron Man's death, excuse me. Um, trying to think of what else really was like, whoa, um, Hawkeye was just, he was the shit in this movie, Hawkeye was awesome, um, uh, I cheered up three times during this movie, Infinity War, Infinity War got me one time, one tear up, that was with Spider-Man's death, this one got me three times, so bring tissues, um, I'm gonna be seeing this like nine times, so, yeah, um, um, and be be ready. I mean, I hate to say it. I I, I didn't think I was going to do this, and I, I hardly ever do this, but I actually had to get up to pee during the movie. It, I mean, it's long. It's it's wonderful. You know, it's it, it's everything a fan would want, but, I mean, it is long at the end of the day. So just, you know, be prepared. You know, don't be slurping down your, your slushies and your, your diet Dr. Pepper or whatever, you know, at the theater. You know, uh, 
because you know, you're going to have to get up and pee. I didn't want to miss a second. I mean, this movie is just <laughs> amazing. Um, <coughs> I, I, obviously, I know that the Fox deal didn't go through um, until after the fact that this movie was done. However, I thought for sure, for freaking sure, they were going to get a mutant teaser, X-Men teaser. They were going to have a panic shot over a mansion. We were going to see the letter X, you know, something. I thought for sure they'd put that in there. No end credit scene either. And I don't mind that. I thought for sure they would have something there. But, I mean, what do you put there at the end of Endgame? I mean, this is the end of this current storyline of the MCU. What do you tease? I mean, the bigger, badder guy? Like, like who's there? And, and like, now we have, like, Galactus and, like, Silver Surfer and stuff. But, like, but like beforehand, like, I don't know who you throw up there. Like, oh, yeah, they beat Thanos. But wait till, you know, the summer of 2028 when they take on this guy like like I don't know what you would have done I don't know I don't know what you would have teased there so I think it's great that they ended it the way that they did plus the actual credits themselves are awesome with the you know the original six and their their signatures you know and like uh, it's just <coughs> right in the feels um yeah but I just oh what else seeing Stan Lee you know I think his final cameo I think his final final one is in Spider-Man Homecoming or Homecoming uh Far From Home excuse me um, you know, but seeing him in, in Endgame, that was certainly, you know, a tear jerky moment. Um, what else? What else? Captain Marvel did not have as lot of his uh, presence as I thought she would, seeing as how her movie just came out right before Endgame. I thought for sure they were going to do the one two punch on Captain Marvel and really solidify her as maybe a new front runner in the MCU. Because, um, like, her movie made like a billion or something. Um, which is awesome. I love Captain Marvel. I saw that movie four times. Um, you know, but she she kind of literally was like, here at the beginning, gun, 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 and here at the end. Not a big deal. It's just surprising. Um, <coughs> uh, I think I commented on Hulk, you know, being weird. You know, I, I thought the joke got old after a while that it was Hulk and Banner as one. Um, What else? What else? What else? Um, I know I'm forgetting some stuff because there's so much stuff in this movie. Um, yeah, I just I would have liked more Guardian action. Uh, we got a lot of Nebula and a lot of Gamora, which is great. Those characters deserve some screen time. Um, but yeah, I just would I would have liked to have seen more Star Lord, more Drax, you know, and more Groot. We didn't. You know, they got any Groot? What happened to Groot? I am Groot. We are Groot. You know. That's my boy. Um, but yeah, Avengers, it's just, oh my gosh. You know, I actually, when I did this review, I need, I drove home. I usually do these on my drive home from the theater. However, I after the movie, I left the theater. I went home. Then I started recording. And I'm going on a totally separate drive because I needed a whole car ride home just to, like, compress everything I have because there's so much just pure goodness. Um, yeah, it's just... <laughs> This movie, we have to live like what a time to be alive. Like literally, just let's just live in this moment together as fans for months. You know, let's see this movie three, four, five times. You know, and it's it's just it's so amazing. I just I can't get enough. I want to go back already. If I could have, I would have just walked into another screening. I just oh man, it's what a delight. It just. Thank you, Hollywood, you know, just for, for, you know, just thank you for, for making this universe. And, and I know not every movie works. Some of you are really scummy out there, you know, like in the, in the industry and stuff. But like, man, when you, when you really, you know, when you hit a home run, you hit a home run. And this was your grand slam. So thank you so much. Thank you to all the fans of the movies who make this a success. I, I enjoy seeing these movies with you. I love going to a packed theater and yelling and clapping and cheering, talking to complete strangers afterwards. Like I did tonight, I walked out of the theater and everyone was like looking at me like, you just saw it because I got an early Thursday screening. And I was like, I was just talking to people as I walked out of my theater. I was like, you're going to love it. It's amazing. You know, be ready. Like, just get ready. You know, like, ugh, it's just, this movie was just pure joy and the whole 
the whole theatric of going to the theater with my family was just such a joy and like my mom was crying and laughing my sister was crying and laughing my dad well he wasn't crying but he was just laughing a lot too we all had such a fun time and man this movie it's it, it, it's amazing it, it really is I, I I truly feel blessed to be to be where I am now you know where I can surround myself with this just this amazing, you know, content, if I want to call it that, this amazing cinema, I mean, it's just, I don't want to ramble anymore, but I could talk about the movie for forever, but that'll be my spoiler review of Infinity War, um, Infinity War Endgame, obviously I did not talk about everything I wanted to, however, my mind is still racing, I'm going to have to see this movie at least five more times, um, it is just, it is that good, if haven't seen it go see it already you know and if you have let's go see it again let's go see it again together let's enjoy this as fans thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one